Very cool. I'm Jeff Teague, this is Auto Jeff Reviews. Today we're gonna to be looking at the 2022 Kia EV6. So please hit subscribe if you're new, thanks for doing that. This is the GT line, but more importantly, this is one of 1500 built, the first edition in urban yellow. Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at this thing, I'm excited. There's a lot of buzz, a lot of positive praise coming from fans, owners, enthusiasts for the EV6. You'll recognize it because it's very similar to Ionic 5, similar in charging, similar in powertrains, similar in platform with that eGMP global modular platform. But that's probably where it ends because this one has its own unique identity, its own character. Let's pick it apart. Let's talk about the trim level lineup so you can see where this falls. We've got three noticeable names, and then we've got rear wheel drive or E all wheel drive. There's light rear wheel drive, there's wind rear wheel drive, and then E all wheel drive, and then there's GT line right here, rear wheel drive or E all wheel drive. And then forthcoming will be the Kia EV6 GT. We'll talk about that a little bit as well. And what about pricing? Well, it starts the EV6 lineup starts at 40,900 factory MSRP and goes all the way up to GT line all wheel drive 55,900. This one, the first edition package, I believe adds another $2,600. We'll look at the window sticker at the end of the video. Next, we're gonna walk around the vehicle so you can get a feel for what it looks like. And then I'm gonna talk about each individual section, the front end, the side profile, the back end. Do we like this big butt and can we lie about it? Boy, that is really something else. And if you know anything about the Ionic 5, it's similar, but so very different. Let's look at the inside. And as we look at the interior, pay attention to all of the space. This platform allows for a lot of versatility, a flat floor in the front and the back, lots of cubbies, storage areas, nooks we'll call them, these dual multimedia screens here. It's got a head up display. Look at this black leather seating. We're gonna look at the back seat. Look at all the space. So much room back here. Think about tall people. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. And as we think about that song, let's look from the back. How futuristic this looks. And what you'll see is the buttons, the controls, the dials, the levers, the secret passages in here, they're simple and easy to understand, but they look so freaking cool. And then let's look at the back storage space. I'll tell you about cargo room with the seats up, with the seats down. What happens when you pull this up? We're not gonna do that yet. Ooh, fancy. The first thing we have to point out is the obvious. Look at, as George Takei would say, the musculature. Look at these chiseled lines here. That is tough. It looks like it's been working out at Venice Beach. Like, look at me, look at my muscles. You will love me, look at that. Time to get up and close and personal here. Look at the LED lights and that series of LED daytime running lights along with front parking sonar. You'll see the front camera right below the Kia badge here. And look at that thin, grill accent piece here along with the lower body here we've got silver metallic lower bumper with that splitter really cool aerodynamic it works with the air not against the air and then look at the turn signal here <laughs> that is just amazing i love it top shelf liquor up top here you see the shark fin antenna do 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 do, do baby shark fin antenna do 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 and then we've got the gloss black front panel which goes with the moonroof. We'll see that inside. Here's how you know you have a head-up display in most vehicles, and especially this one here. You can see the panel. If it's recessed, if it's shiny, if it's big, you'll be able to see information right on your windshield. It limits distraction, and it provides a really good service to you with all that information. Hopefully in this picture, we can see three different sets of turn signals. We've got them 
along the front, sweeping to the side here, we've got this one right here built into this gloss black accented side mirror cap. Not mirror cap, but mirror cap. Along with, we've got one of the overhead cameras that we're gonna use. We'll see inside, it's a really useful camera. It's very cool technology. And then we'll be able to see this right here. The back when it's all lit up, it's brilliant, my friends, brilliant. And then we have to have this reflector here due to standards. Look at the fender accents here. And I'm gonna show you this angle because you gotta see how the fender sweeps out here muscularly. Yeah, see, look at that. Look at the LED going on. I know that's strobing and flashing. It's solid, trust me. Now look at this fender here. Look at that. Ooh, wow, that is beautiful. It looks like a tough sports car that's showing off at the end of a parking lot, right? Because you're proud of this thing. You're so proud of the lines. Speaking of lines, you can see more sensors here, but look at this right here, this pattern that sweeps all the way around here. And then we're gonna go along the bottom panels, gloss black, silver metallic, and then we'll go back the other way because I gotta show you those wheels. Yeah, we're gonna talk about that. Obviously, we have power folding mirrors. These door handles are color keyed and flush. They open up when you wanna open it up. Look at that. Are you impressed yet? No? Now are you impressed? Look at that. Just look at these wheels. Love this modern Kia logo here. It's cool looking, I'm getting used to it now. And again, we see more lines along these 20 inch alloy wheels, gloss black along with the metallic silver accents here. It's just absolutely a brilliant color, pattern, texture, and it goes all along the profile here to finish off that look. The whole thing is a piece of art. It's like when people stare at that picture, that painting of Kramer and Seinfeld, just can't look away. Oh yeah, this is what I was talking about. Yeah, right there. We're gonna get in right now. I'm gonna back it up so you can see the lights as they reverse. Start it. Got our lights going. Drive. Let's put it in reverse. Take the flashers off, put on some turn signals. And we'll keep going back. What do you think, guys? Put it in drive, put it in park, and stop. Big bucks, big bucks, no whammies, stop. Oh, a whammy. <laughs> to me, the most notable features are right in this section right here. We've got silver accent piece triangle shapes. You could call them diamond shapes if you put those triangles together. And it goes all the way across, but look, it's color coordinated with the EV6 symbol, Kia badge, and then this light bar that goes all the way across and out. It simulates a spoiler here along with this spoiler. Really cool, high cargo deck. We've got this gloss black accented piece down here. Those sensors are helpful. Another camera. Now I can open it from somewhere in here. Where is it? There it is. Watch this. I can do it from the key. Cool. And then we got storage space to talk about. When talking about cargo space, we've got 24.4 cubic feet of storage space behind the second row seats. Or we could open it up and we could do this from the back here. Now we've got 50.2 cubic feet of storage space. I like to do this so it shows how a five foot tall man can sit in the back and pose like you're on the cover of GQ magazine. And since this is an electric car, there is no engine electric motor power but I do have to show you what would happen not a heavy hood at all actually it's quite manageable for how, as wide as it is as wide as a Mach-E look at this EV and like Ionic 5 we're gonna have EV right here this is what people in the biz are gonna call 
the front, a front trunk. It's not huge. Maybe you could put something in here. I just don't know. But let's take this off right here, and I want to show you electric motor. There we go. Anytime you see orange cables, high voltage, stay away. Do not touch. No touchy. There we go. And then here's our battery. And you can open it this way as well. I just kind of wanted to show you around so you could see. It's got the lifts, obviously hood blanket. It's such a quiet vehicle too. Now what about horsepower? Because we've got three different ranges. If you get the light trim level, that's rear wheel drive, you're going to get 167 horsepower. If you get the wind rear wheel drive or GT line rear wheel drive, you're going to get 225 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque. But if you get the all wheel drive, that's where the muscle comes in here like 320 horsepower, 446 pound-feet of torque. Zero to 60, under five seconds. As a matter of fact, that's zero to 60, 4.6 seconds. Now, how do you charge this thing? You can use a level two charger at home, at work. You can use a 400 volt or 800 volt fast charging. We're just gonna open it like that, kind of close it like that. Open it like that. You can also do it from inside as well. So what about charging times? Well, we can charge this one if you use the ultra fast one. Actually, let's say level two at home. You can do that one overnight in your garage. But if you go all the way up to the 800 volt, the ultra fast or the super fast, lightning quick, double shock power, fast charging, you can do 10% charge to 80% charge in 18 minutes. It's really fast because it's powered by 1.21 gigawatts. All right, so it's got 800 volt, and you're gonna also get 70 extra miles in less than five minutes of charge if you're kind of on the fly, on the go. Gonna fly now, it's gonna fly now. And as a matter of fact, you can get 217 miles in that 18 minute charge. It's pretty fast. One of the fastest in the biz. Mic drop. So let's look inside here. It's got a nice wide opening. It's a wide car. And then let's look underneath this very nice trunk mat here because you can fit things like your tire mobility kit, maybe a first aid kit, whatever kind of kit you want. Kit from Knight Rider. You can open that up all the way. And then we've got this right here. That's what lowers those back seats that I use there. Hey, do I see LED lighting? Yeah, let's take a look at the door panels in the back here. Oh, I like that. And you can see the Meridian premium sound system. I believe it's 14 speakers. We've got rear air vents. We don't have rear air controls, but at least we've got some vents, so we get some air back there. Gloss black and metallic accents. I like that. That's a good look. Then we've also got back here pocket it's a hard back then we've got a USB plug in here a USB let's go over this way plug in here as well that's cool another pocket all right to me one of the biggest benefits of a car like this is how much room it has in the EV6 I've got one seat back more I've got one seat forward more so you can see we can also recline our seats, be more upright. It's tall. The seats are very comfortable here. Yeah, I like those. Good support. This has a lot of back support here, so I'm not sure if a bigger person could sit here. But then here we've got so much room to stretch out, to chill and relax. Netflix and chill. As far as a passenger seat is concerned, we can go up with this power seat. We can go down with the power seat. We can twist it like we did last summer. We can twist again like we did last year. All right, so that's cool. So there's a good slide, good 
up and down on the lift. Look at this pattern here. That's right, look at this texture here. A series of triangles all the way around. And actually it goes behind the raised multimedia screen. That is really interesting. And look how this slopes, it curves all the way around. It's like a car half pipe, but different. So let's look at the inside again. Gloss black accents. See a lot of gloss black accent in this first edition. Got the Meridian sound here. Nice sport drink holder here. First edition, which one is that? Well, good question, because it is number 443 of 1500. I feel like I'm part of history. LED lights, those glow. Those actually glow. They're blue, they don't change. The air blows out really nice and cool in here. That was one impression I had. And then look at this storage space here. A nice big bin. This does not move forward, backward, things like that. What do we have down here? We've got USB, looks like a C, and then we've got USB-C. And then we've got a 12 volt circular port along with an A and a C USB port down here as well. Okay, so this is where, I'm gonna turn that down. Look at that. We're gonna talk about this. Oh, we're gonna talk about this, believe me, cause watch. What? Then we've got heated seat, cooled seat, steering wheel, wireless charging pad, and then this is our dial to go forward, backward, all that kind of stuff. We've got this to look at as well. Spin your EV6 round and round. More console. Need to console the car and its owners. I don't know what you'd put here. Maybe a phone you could put? It'd have to be a thin phone. Maybe here for the phone. Driver's seat features the same luxury as passenger, except for it has lumbar support. Then we've got seat recline. Up, down, forward, back. Got to help out taller passengers. Let's twist it. There we go. Let's see what the steering wheel does here. It telescopes in and out. It goes up and down. Yeah, it's not bad. Is it power? No. And now we're going to come over here and talk about these matching, these twin, I married a twin, so why would I not talk about twin multimedia screens? 12.3 inch screens to memory position seating. So let's go over here. Does that light up? It does. That's cool. So we'll be able to see lots of information about this car. And I keep saying it, but remember this shares a lot of similar traits and qualities and features with the Ionic 5. I'll be doing a video comparing the two. I'll put that at the end of the video once I get it made so you can see that one. We've got different drive modes for better acceleration, for better fuel mileage, and then just normal driving as well. But there's a lot of information that we can get off the vehicle here. Tells us our miles per hour, how far till we're gonna run out of our charge. All of our safety features right here. The phone, the voice commands. This one here, we can move it like this and then you could see the battery range, the battery percentage. A Lot of information that we can get from this car here. EV, I love this display here. Look, how far until we get to an EV charging station? Yeah, that's pretty freaking cool. Huh, I love that. 
energy information. What else can we do? Charging station list. Yeah, that's neat. See, that's helpful on road trips right there because you're not going blind. I like that one a lot. And then we can do our map, our navigation. Find nearby restaurants. And look at that. That's the beauty. Look how fast it responds to your voice, your commands, and gives you what you need. No waiting around. Great processing time. Now this one right here, it's quirky, but watch what it does. It can show you your climate information, but also other information just by pushing this arrow. And that's what I was doing earlier when I was switching it back and forth, back and forth. So we've got our multimedia information right here. Like that, look at that. That's cool. But what if I wanna control, that's volume, this is tuning. But what if I wanna do my climate? Well, I just do that and we can do fan speed like that. We can select, we can select. Oh, that's weird, I bet it's on centigrade. Celsius. I like to look at these right here because we can see it's lighted mirrors, visors with a slider function. What? And then this goes across, but it does not turn on the light. Okay, so we've got light, light, and then how far does this roof open up? The roof, the roof, the roof goes all the way back. No, it doesn't. It goes most of the way. Call it 85% of the way. The other thing I want to show you, the blind spot view monitor here. Look at that. As you're going, you can see what's in your blind spot. It's so clear too. It's so clear to me. And the window sticker, it's important to show it, but I cannot take it off because it doesn't belong to me. So I'm just going to do it through the window, through the wall. I'm a show, 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 show. We've got the EV6 GT line. This is the all wheel drive. Let's take a look here. Now, this is cool. I like how they do this one. They show the rear wheel drive stats. And then if you get all wheel drive, which this one is, it shows you the stats. So let's look at rear wheel drive, 310 mile electric range, 225 horsepower, 258. Has that onboard power generator. And then this right here, if it's all wheel drive, 274 mile all electric range, 320 horsepower, 446 pound feet of torque with that dual motor E all wheel drive. This has the first edition package on it, which is $2,600. So take a look at those features and see, just ignore me behind it, but look and see if these are features that you would want. I know a lot of people would like to get their hands on this one here. So let's look at going down here. Look at all the safety features here. So much to protect the drivers and the passengers. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, I gotta make sure I say that. Kia Connect, Sirius XM subscription. Normally it comes with the 19 inch alloy wheels, but we have upgraded to the 20 inch wheels right here. And then let's look at the warranty. Look at that 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. That's big, very big stuff. And then let's come over here. This is the pricing on it. 55.9, 2,600, some other options get it delivered, 60,040. This is here at Fred Anderson Kia of Raleigh. Look at the fuel mileage, it's a little different. It's MPGE, so it factors in electricity, in this case, electric. 
See, it can go 274 miles on one electric charge, 8.4 hours on a 240 volt. All right, there we go. Everyone, thanks so much for watching. What do you think of EV6? Would you get the GT line, maybe the wind, maybe the light, rear wheel drive, that E all wheel drive? What features jumped out at you? There's a lot to talk about here. This is exciting. So please hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you're returning, thanks for being here. All right, I'm on Instagram and TikTok at Auto Jeff Reviews, shorter versions of the long reviews. Thanks everybody so much. Right, Ted? We out of here. <laughs>